the Maldives have shown support for Palestine in a very dramatic way. On Sunday, the country announced a ban on Israeli passport holders from entering the country during Israel's genocide on the Palestinians. As long as the war is going, the Maldives says, Israelis can't come in the, in the country. Now, along with the ban, which is fascinating, we'll talk about it, Maldivian President Dr. Mohamed Muizu is appointing a special envoy to look into the needs of Palestinians and to create a fundraiser, fundraiser with the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, also known as UNRWA, uh, for Palestinian refugees. The country will also host a rally with the slogan, Palestina Eku Divahin, which means in their language, Maldivians in solidarity with Palestine. Wow. So the Maldives is literally banning Israelis from the country. If you have an Israeli passport, even if you are a joint passport holder, you have dual citizenship, you have a Maldivian Israeli passport, and I don't know how many people that is, they're saying even that ain't good enough to get you in the building. Now, I know some of y'all are applauding this decision. Some of y'all are happy about this decision. I got to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not sure that I share um, that position, and I'll tell you why. Um, boycotting, divesting, and sanctioning Israel, I'm fine with. I'm fine with boycotting the country, and I am... Uh, fine with uh, boycotting, divesting, and sanctioning companies, institutions that benefit from the Israeli occupation, that benefit from the siege in Gaza, that benefit from structural inequality. I see y'all saying y'all love to support. I see y'all saying that's what's up. I see y'all loving what the Maldives is doing. But I want us to just think about what this means. Um, when you say no one with an Israeli passport can come into the Maldives, you are now engaging in a type of boycott and a type of ban, a type of sanction um, that extends beyond institutions and corporations. Now you're saying people are being punished. Now you're saying that every Israeli, every single citizen of Israel, irrespective of what they think, what they believe, or how they act, is going to be punished by the Maldives. Now, let's be clear. This is not really a major problem. The Maldives actually gets a lot of tourist attractions, a lot of tourist love, a lot of people. About a million people come to the Maldives every year. But only like 11,000 of them come from uh, Israel. So you're talking about like 0.6%. Some some very small number of, of, of Israelis even go there. So this is more of a symbolic gesture than any kind of real sacrifice from the Maldives or any kind of punishment to large numbers of Israelis. But the fact of the matter is 11,000 Israelis won't be allowed to go on vacation in the Maldives or travel to the Maldives for whatever reason, not just vacation, for business, whatever, to see family, whatever, because of what their country has done. That is collective punishment. That is blaming... Uh, holding individuals accountable for the actions of their government. And I don't support that. I don't agree with that. Now, I ain't gonna lose no sleep. You know, there's a finite amount of time, there's a finite amount of resources, there's a finite amount of energy I can expend uh, struggling for justice. And I would rather spend my energy fighting for the people who are dying in Gaza than the rights of Israeli passport holders, many of whom do support the occupation and do support the illegal uh, settlements who, who do support the genocide in Gaza based on the polls. I'd rather support the Palestinians than these Israeli vacationers or whoever they are. So I'm not, you won't see me on no, no picket lines about this, but it's still wrong. We still have to call it out. We still have to criticize it. We still can't endorse it. This is not okay. And I know the, the Maldivian population, the public, they're good with it. So it's, it's a very pro Palestinian uh organization or or, or rather uh, uh public very uh, pro-palestinian citizenry it is a very uh obviously pro-muslim uh the country is almost all muslim uh and so they are very frustrated with the way arabs have been treated muslims have been treated 
their brothers and sisters have been treated in however you imagine community by Israel. They've, they've watched the destruction of the mosques. They've seen the desecration of Al-Aqsa. They've seen all of the things. So I understand the outrage, but we cannot, we cannot allow the outrage to turn into injustice. Um, and again, I ain't losing no sleep over it, but it's, uh, it's absolutely not the right thing to do. It's absolutely 100%, 1000% wrong uh, to have, to ban all Israelis based on the actions of uh, the Israeli, the, the Israeli government.